Class Project, 100 points. The Class Project is an opportunity for you to pick a particular natural hazard event that interests you. Do a little research and present your findings. The goal of this project is to help you synthesize some of the key concepts of the course and provide a platform for you to show your enthusiasm about a particular natural hazard event. Topics for the class project must be approved by me on the appropriate discussion board. Examples of topics include 1980 Mount St. Helens volcanic eruption, or 1983 Thistle landslide, or 2004 Sumatra Indonesia tsunami, or 2005 Hurricane Katrina, or whatever excites you. Your topic must be approved by me because I do not want two people doing the same topic and I do not want everyone to pick a similar natural hazard like everyone reports on volcanic eruptions. And I do want you to be able to find enough information on your specific natural hazard topic. Your topic may be approved by me at any time throughout the semester prior to the Friday of the 14th week of the course. There are two options for the format of your project. Option one, a 2.5 page paper with additional figures in Word or PDF format. 2.5 pages means about 1,300 words not including references or figure captions. Do not fill with fluff. Use section headings to help organize your paper, i.e. introduction, physical processes, conditions indicating elevated risk, damage and loss of life, links to other natural hazards, successful mitigation, proposed mitigation, references. Figures must be captioned and referenced, e.g. Figure 1, the image above, depicts the massive devastation of the 2004 Sumatra Indonesia Tsunami, Smith, 2004. Option 2, 10-minute video of narrated PowerPoint slides. Two items will be prepared and posted. One, PowerPoint slides with talking points in the notes section and additional references not displayed on the slide. And two, an approximately 10 minute video that you can embed in the discussion board. Look for instructions on how to embed a video in the class project module. You may choose your method of making a video of narrated PowerPoint slides. I use Screencast-O-Matic. Whatever method you use, the audio and the visual need to be clear. Use slide headings to help organize your presentation, e.g. introduction, physical processes, conditions indicating elevated risk, damage and loss of life, links to other natural hazards, successful mitigation, proposed mitigation, references. You may choose whatever option you are most comfortable with. The rubric is the same. Refer to the rubric to find the content requirements for your presentation, tasks 3 through 11. Your project must be uploaded to the appropriate discussion board by Friday of the 15th week of the course. An additional word on references. Both options require at least 10 credible references cited in the MLA standard or equivalent. These references need to be cited in the paper or presentation slides and notes. If you did not make a figure yourself, which I bet you didn't, you must cite the source of the picture in the figure caption on the slide or in the slide notes. Facts and ideas that are not your own also need to be cited. These internal sources refer to the more complete list of the references you will have at the end of your project. I fully expect pretty much everything 
in your paper or presentation to have a citation and several parts to have multiple citations. Additionally, you will review two of your classmates' projects, see task 12, so that each student gets two peer reviews. Only the first two reviews of their project will count toward the reviewer's grade. For the reviewer to get full points, the reviewer will respond to the posted project in the appropriate discussion board, assign a grade using the rubric below with points awarded for each task numbered 3 through 11, and provide respectful and helpful comments. The reviews are due by Wednesday of the 16th week of the course. Note, the final grade of the project will depend only on my grade. Class Project Rubric. For each task, you will get 100% of the points if you do well, 0% of the points if you do it poorly or not at all, and 50% of the points if you are in between. Here are the tasks. Task 1. Topic was approved by instructor in the appropriate discussion board post, due by Friday at midnight of the 14th week of the course. Two points. Task two. Project is posted on the appropriate discussion board by Friday at midnight of the 15th week of the course. For video presentations, this includes both the PowerPoint slides with completed notes, and the embedded video. Two points. Task three. Project clearly states and briefly describes the specific natural hazard event. Six points. Task four. Project explains the physical processes that caused the specific natural hazard event. 14 points. Task 5. Project discusses conditions indicating elevated risk for the specific natural hazard event, including precursor events if they occurred. 9 points. Task 6. Project briefly describes the extent of property damage and loss of life. Nine points. Task seven. Project clearly shows how the specific natural hazard event is linked to other natural hazards. Task eight. Project describes mitigation strategies that were employed including warning techniques, community preparation and response, and individual preparation and response that lessened the damage for the specific natural hazard event. Nine points. Task nine. Project describes mitigation strategies that should have been employed or will be employed in the future, including warning techniques, community preparation and response, and individual preparation and response that can lessen the damage. Nine points. Task 10. Project includes 10 credible references in using MLA standard or equivalent. References are appropriately and adequately referenced throughout the presentation. 9 points. Task 11. Project is generally excellent. 8 points. Task 12. Reviews two of their classmates' projects using the rubric. 
Remember that only the first two reviews of another's presentation count. Due by Wednesday of the 16th week of the course. 14 points. I hope you now understand each task. But if you have clarifying questions, please ask. I have set up a discussion board for questions and answers so that the whole class can be equally clarified. However, if you have a question you do not want the whole class to see, you can still email me. Good luck. I hope to be impressed by the awesomeness of your projects.